Hey everyone, this is Nick DiRobertis teaching you financial modeling. Today, we're going to be talking about some extra resources that you can use to learn about Python and financial modeling topics. This is part of our lecture segment, which gives an introduction to the new advanced financial modeling with Python course, and also closes out the financial modeling with Python and Excel course. So, um, here we're just looking at a few um, different resources that give um, general help with Python, um, as well as applying it to financial modeling. Um, so the first one here is Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. So this is useful um, just to give an overview on a lot of different Python topics. Um, so some of this stuff is already going to be covered um, in the initial course, um, but it also definitely goes further um, and gives a lot of different basics and then also has um, different areas should you need to go into any um, particular area of development. So, you know, we already talked about how uh, web scraping is useful um, for data pipelines and financial models. Um, so some of that is there. Um, Here's a section on uh, CICD, which we also talked about. Um, and machine learning, they have some information on that as well. Um, and some more just good general um, recommendations on how to do things. Um, so then we have Real Python. Real Python is uh, basically a set of like tutorial, uh, tutorial articles. Um, so they, you know, regularly release these articles, um, which have a lot of good content on them. Um, so generally it's kind of targeted at like an intermediate, um, Python programmer and, uh, they have very in-depth, um, tutorials on particular topics and there's a lot of stuff on here. Um, so I really like this as a resource. Um, then we have Automate the Boring Stuff with Python, so that's actually a book, um, but it's um, available free online. You, you can um, just go through and, and find everything here online. Um, and it covers Python basics, so you know a good amount of this you can probably mostly skip through um, after doing the, the first course. Um, but it, it's, it's really applied to you know, kind of general things that you might want to automate um, and how to write the particular Python code that does that. Um, so really good to get started with, with just automating, um, you know, day-to-day -day tasks. Um, this is a really good resource. And then we have Practical Business Python. So this is a little bit similar to Real Python in that it's kind of like an article um, format. Just, uh, you know, this uh, is created by Chris Moffitt, um, and he just keeps posting articles. Um, and it's, you know, particularly about, you know, applying Python in a business setting um, and is generally a little bit more um, introductory focused. So you don't need to be um, as comfortable in Python to read through the articles. Um, so it's another really nice resource, general resource for Python financial modeling. Um, so that um, covers the additional just general resources. And uh, this also wraps up our introduction to the advanced financial modeling course and the um, end of the financial modeling with Python and Excel course. So going forward, um, I want to um, release videos on all the um, different topics that we covered in this introduction. Um, but I don't necessarily have a particular order yet. Um, so I'm definitely looking for uh, feedback on what people would like to learn about first. So um, please go ahead and just leave a comment about anything that you're interested on me expanding on in any of these topics. And, uh, you know, based on that feedback, um, I can look at those areas first uh, for the lecture topics. Um, because we kind of, you know, hit on all the basics now with the first course. 
um, as going into more advanced stuff, we really can can go in any order. Uh, the order is not so important. So I just want to see what um, people want to learn the most first, and I can head in that direction. Um, and please uh, subscribe on YouTube so that you can be notified as I release these uh, videos on the advanced financial modeling topics. Um, and I hope that everyone enjoys the, the new course, and I hope that you enjoy the first course as well. Um, so I would love to, to hear your feedback um, on the first course as well. So feel free to comment about that. Um, and yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone for listening. And I'm excited to, uh, to branch off into all these more advanced topics with you. So thanks for listening and see you next time.